Whoa! New Patreon month, we just hit The Bends by Radiohead. We're doing it as a follow-up since we already hit OK Computer. Great album. We just Man. realized we've hit how many albums? 65 records. 65 records. What are some of those records, boom, Andy? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, if you're wanting to see those or like literally 58 more, go on Patreon, less than a cup of coffee, plus three singles, another album throughout the month. Go on there, link in the description, onto the video. Hey guys, hope you're having a uh, grand old day as well as a great life. Whoa. Whoa, I Whoa. know. I know. I didn't know this coming either. Threw an Easter curveball at us. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty nice. It's Easter. Happy Easter. It's not Easter for you, it's Easter for us. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty excited, dude. We uh, we enjoyed the last song. What was it like a Never Tears Part? Something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And this is like their biggest one, apparently. Need you tonight. It's from the same record. One thing we definitely felt in the last song was just dude had mad charisma. And yeah. everyone in the comments agreed that was kind of like one of his things. So, very yeah, cool. he's specked cool. into charisma pretty hard. Pretty yeah, hard. He's rolling high. Yeah. So, uh, excited. Just excited to do it. Happy Friday. Uh, there was not a poll for this song for this Friday, but there is a poll out right now. Go vote. Do your civic duty. Go check it out. And with that being said, on to the video. Come on here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Dang, that was different than the other one. Yeah. Same uh, record, but very different. Super different. Really, really catchy. Like very catchy. Very catchy. The riff especially. The the riff is one of the catchier things I've heard in recent history. Mm-hmm. Like especially with like the high like mid rangey guitar followed by like the even higher but then adding bass thing like yeah just like sucks you into the song like it's very very good and it kind of reminds me a little bit of um not happy but there's a couple there's been a couple of those modern songs 
uh, Blurred Lines by Robert Robin Thicke, yeah. where it like has all this like percussiony elements in the background, mm -hmm. and it's kind of what makes the song very catchy. And I think this is doing it in a much much earlier version, and all of this cool interesting percussive uh, percussive work, whether that's like organic percussive work or just like electronic noises, like yeah. builds this really fun space. They're definitely creating a really dope dance song. Yes, like, I bet this yeah. is played at so many like high school proms and shit like that. Yeah, like in fact, probably like all of them. Like probably in, in, every in that, single in one. that era. They were like, like, if we if we can legally allow this to be played, we're gonna play it probably. Yeah, for sure. I will say definitely. Um, I'd probably not listen to it, but it's yeah. definitely not a knock at the song. But it's just probably not. I think it's definitely also like probably not super context appropriate for two guys sitting in chairs in a shack. Like, if I was, it, it feels in, like a dance song. If I was dancing somewhere, this would be great. I, I think my issues with the song are, are two things that have nothing to do with what it was trying to do, so they're not actually issues. Yeah. The first is it feels a little dated. Like there's some yeah. music that we listen to where it, like it can feel of the era, mm -hmm. but like still like carries over. Still carries cool. over and is still new and is still cool. There's some of the things that they're doing in either the way that they're singing or like words they're using or so stuff that they're choices they're making that for me. As I can recognize how good the song was when it came out. Like, this is a smash. It's a smash hit mm -hmm. yeah. by every metric. and But it just it doesn't feel like it translates the same way some other ones do. Even the other one yeah. we hit by them. Yeah. Um, and then the other is lyrically, it just, there's a, a lot of it felt kind of throwaway. But also, that's for sure the point. Mm -hmm. Like, there's like six key really cool lines in the song. And then other than that, it's like, what are you going to do with your life? I'm going to live my life. I don't know. Like, there's just some lines where I was like, what are you saying there? But also, it's a dance I, I song. Think it's, yeah, especially imagine, again, you're like a high school prom. That's like, you definitely. I know. Almost, like, songs like this almost like need lines like that. Where, For like, sure. Where like uh, people, like, let's, let's say young adults, you know what I mean? Can kind of like finish the, the next line or whatever. And it just kind of like fits wherever they're at or wherever. Yeah, and like sing it to your friend. Like, imagine you're like high on Kool-Aid and you're trying to, you're like in eighth grade and you're like, what are you going to do? I'm going to live my life. And you're like singing it to your friend. Like, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, again, that's why I said both of those are non-issues. Like, I think they're both fantastic traits for the song for what it was trying to do um but yeah just kind of give context to why i might not listen to it like you were saying like I, I might not do the same thing i would probably listen to the other one more yeah like substantially more yeah but um still a fantastic song it kind of leaves the rating in a weird spot i mean i think we kind of can i think probably like separate the ratings almost yeah we're like for me for example i think like for myself like in this moment it's probably like a b or b minus song in terms of like what i would mm -hmm. like like what I would listen to in general, but I think context of what it's like built for definitely like a plus territory or probably like sounds weird to say this for me. A plus just, teetering on S tier. Yeah. For, yes. for like that era slash that time. Period. I can agree to me. It feels a plus teetering on S tier. Like yeah. with like, is what the song is like given like what it was for. Like if you were a record label and, and a band came to you with this song, you'd be like, I am going to buy a yacht. Yeah. Like, this is, it's, it, I can't, like, this is a, a hit, even if I'd never, like, even if I'd never been shown, like, hey, this is a big band and this is a big song. Yeah. Like, it just is good. It's just really, really catchy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. I like that they have both. Like, I like that we got to hear the other one first, because I think I would have been less excited to hear more if this was the, the one song I heard. Yeah, it's very true. But knowing that they did, like, both sides of that. I mean, this record was huge, so maybe yeah. we should hit it. Some I do point. appreciate the riff, like being that gnarly. The riff like, is stupidly good. Yeah, because given how it definitely isn't a song like I would typically like enjoy in this context, I think the riff definitely saved like this moment for me. Yeah, like in, in a cool way. Because like no matter no matter like what, it was always there, like being awesome. So that was cool. Yeah, it is. It is one of the coolest riffs of the '80s. I think like it's it's actually up there with the uh, uh, what I want. Really you know dope. what I'm saying? Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> why do I want to say Guy Ritchie song? I don't know about that though. It's pretty close to me. Kind of, but definitely in like in like a different way. Like it's hard to hard to compare because like mm. "Make My Dreams Come True" kind of has like a swung like pop pop. But like the easiest comparison for that is like ELO, like Mr. Blue Sky to like "Make My Dreams Come True" is like a similar. Yeah, I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's the same feel. I'm saying mm. in level of like iconic energy. Mm. Like when I, can I see that like. It feels recognizable. I wonder if I've like, um, like if I've heard something similar from something else, or if I've just like heard like this bit before. Potentially, because it, I mean, it is a huge song, so I'm sure I've heard it like yep. at some point. But either way, let us know what we need to hit next. Yep. Uh, go vote in the polls. Have a great week. Have a great life. Have a what did you say? 
Grand Grand Grand, day, grand old day, time. grand old time, yeah, grand old time. Go see yeah. the Grand Old Opry. We'll see you. Peace. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna, if you had a good time watching that video, if you wanna upvote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff you can't get on YouTube because we block it here.